This is Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts, home to students, teachers, and visitors from almost every country in the world. Hundreds of foreign languages are spoken here. My name is Maria, and I'm from South Brazil. My name is Maiden Izeli, and I'm from Haiti. I'm Christine, and I'm French. My name is Ariela, and I'm from Mexico City. My name is Jenna Wan. I came from Korea. These people are all speaking English. But what if they could only speak in their native tongues? Nobody could understand each other, and life would be very confusing. In order to communicate more effectively in a melting pot like Harvard, many people decide to improve their English. English here is the lingua franca, the language that everyone has in common. People who want to learn or improve their English come to the Cambridge Center for Adult Education, right near Harvard Square. It's very important to know English in general, in life. If you speak a language like Portuguese and you want to communicate with people from any other country, you have to learn English. I should know English, yeah, because I have to live here, I have to talk to people, I have to walk. Do any of you read your horoscope? This is A.C. Kemp. She's a linguist who has been teaching English as a second language for 10 years. Here, she is teaching an intermediate conversation class. Students who reach this level often become frustrated. They reach what is called an intermediate plateau. An intermediate plateau is a common phenomenon when learning any new skill. For example, a child who is a talented athlete can master basic skills easily, but becomes frustrated at the intermediate level. Sometimes you learn to communicate a certain way and you start repeating a mistake and you don't realize that. So you have to become aware of how you're speaking. AC keeps her students involved by selecting interesting topics for discussion. If you break a mirror, do you think it brings you seven years of bad luck? Today's topic is superstition. You have superstitions in Japan, don't you? Four is bad luck number. Four means death. What about walking under ladders? That's, that's a big one here. It's not superstition, but maybe it's dangerous because yeah, okay. they are painting or they, they are doing something, so. Do you think it's bad luck to open an umbrella inside? Here. It's weird. Yes, it's weird. To open an umbrella uh, in, inside a house. <laughs> I, I don't see the reason why. You've heard of the superstition of knocking on wood, haven't you? <coughs> All black cats are unlucky, aren't they? AC also uses visual aids to help her students learn. You already have one of these, don't you? So everybody on a page 20 should have a picture of the palm. Now, first of all, can anyone tell me what this line is? My lifeline, okay. Can you tell me what your partner's life is going to be like? A long life, but with a lot of uh, sickness. Uh, can you tell me what kind of life he's going to have? You will have a regular kind of life. I think the most fun at this level is that you start to see that you actually can communicate and when you try talking to people, you know, that first time that you have a real conversation with someone, not just one sentence, you know, not something that you practiced from a book, and that's really exciting to realize, hey, I'm speaking English. I'm not just reading some exercise from a book, but I'm really talking. Every time I speak English, I'm a different person. The fact that I can understand people, it's amazing. I'm, I, it makes me very happy.